How important are reviews and testimonials to getting more clients for your accounting firm? In this video, I'm going to talk about the power of testimonials and reviews and how you can go about getting more of them for your accounting firm. Hey there, I'm Brighton, the CPA marketing mentor, and I'm here to help accountants like yourself simplify their marketing and communications so they can grow their accounting, bookkeeping, and financial planning businesses. One of the most powerful marketing tools that you have at your disposal is testimonials from existing clients. Hearing about other people's positive experiences, working with you and your firm can be incredibly persuasive for someone who might be on the fence about whether or not to engage in your services. If you think about your own habits when you're purchasing a new product or service, what do you do? You likely have found reviews or testimonials about someone else's experience with that product or service. I will watch countless review videos before buying any new piece of technology or camera gear or any, any tech. I just love tech, but why do I do that? It's because I want to experience, I want to know what other people's experiences have been with that product or service before I make that purchase. And honestly, social credibility has become such a big part of how we make buying decisions today. 72% of consumers say that a positive review will make them trust a local business more. And on the flip side, 86% of people hesitate to purchase from a business with negative online reviews. What other people say about your firm online can make or break landing a new client. So if testimonials from happy clients can have such a profound effect on a prospective client's decision making, how can you go about getting more of them? Getting testimonials can sometimes be a bit of a challenge but here are a couple tips to help you get a few more. Many people may be reluctant to put themselves out there and sing your praises, but if there's clients who are really happy with the work that you've done, and I'm sure that you can think of a couple right now, they, I'm sure they would be more than happy to provide you with a testimonial or a review. So here are a couple tips. One is just to simply ask them. At the end of a project, year-end filing, check-in meeting, tax filing, just put an agenda meeting item in there and simply ask them what they enjoyed most about working with you and if they would be open to potentially writing or even just speaking out what a testimonial would be for them of working with your firm. You can jot down a few notes, draft a first version, send it over to them to see if it's something that they're comfortable with you sharing and you're done. That's, that's one way. Just simply ask them. Another tactic is to make it super easy for them to give you a rave review and share that story of what it's been like working with your firm. What I have done for clients in the past is I've set up a Google form or a Microsoft form with some prompts and questions and send that as a link to the client. This helps them focus on aspects of the work that they were most pleased with and makes it really easy for them to write a strong and positive testimonial. So a couple examples of questions that I would include in that form would be, what made you come to our firm? So what was the problem? What was the struggle? What was the issue that you were facing? And why did you end up coming here? I talk about building a story brand on this channel and with my clients all the time because I think Donald Miller's done an incredible job of building out that framework to create an effective communication strategy for your marketing. And I'm actually gonna talk about that on a future video. If it is the future now, click here and you can watch that video. What we want to do here is tell the story. We wanna put a prospective client in the shoes of a client that's already done business with you and go, man, I'm actually facing that same problem. I'm experiencing that same struggle. And they can put themselves in, that, in those shoes and go, man, this organization, this firm can really help me get from A to B, B being where I really want to be. So that's the first couple of questions. We would talk about what was the issue that you had and why did you come to our firm? What did life look like before? Then you can position yourselves as the guide. How did we show that we understood your problem? How did we understand that we knew where you wanted to be? And then you can ask the question, what did we do in order to help solve that problem? And then at the end, you can ask, what does life look like now? that you have had your problem solved and you have worked with our firm. That gives you a really great example of how to get a testimonial that is strong and positive 
and tells that story so that a future client or a prospective client can read that review and go, somebody was in my shoes right now before and they are where I want to be and that firm actually helped them get there. That is the whole purpose of a testimonial and review. Although this process can be quite effective, you may miss out on building your presence and rating on search engines like Google. Google reviews can be an incredibly powerful tool as Google is honestly the most popular search engine in the world. So if someone simply searches for accounting firms near me and you're one of the closest firms to where they're searching from, your firm's Google My Business page will show up along with your Google customer rating. Now, if you don't have any reviews on your Google page and a competing firm down the street has 55 star reviews, that other firm has a substantially higher chance of getting that client's business. So to increase the number of reviews on your Google My Business page, you can provide a link to leave a Google review on your invoices and your email signature or at the end of a DocuSign form. You can also give a little bit of incentive to the client to complete a review, such as entry into a draw for a gift card or even a discount off their next invoice. Finally, don't forget to show your appreciation for anyone who takes the time and effort to give you a testimonial or review. You can do that by simply sending a thank you note or writing a handwritten card or a small gift. Anything that shows your appreciation can go a long way. By following these simple steps, you can start to build a strong collection of testimonials that you can use on your website, social media, and any other marketing materials that you need. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in more content just like this, be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.